Hello everyone. In this video, we will answer extra practice 5 from face to face elementary book second edition. Okay, and let's start with the first question. The first question here is write the opposite of these adjectives. So we have um, L will be well and We'll say happy will be here on unhappy mm -hmm. unhappy hot cold lucky unlucky different let's write it here the same and tall short friendly unfriendly boring interesting Fantastic, terrible, quiet, noisy. Okay, so this is the answer. Again, ill, well, happy, unhappy, hot, cold, lucky, unlucky, different, the same, tall, short, friendly, unfriendly, boring interesting fantastic terrible quiet noisy okay let's move to the uh, to the next one let's see here exercise number two okay so in exercise number two say choose the correct words so choose the correct word so i was at home yesterday we said was because i jack and i was in rome last week or where in rome last week of course we will choose where okay where because here we have two uh, people okay we say jack and i so it's where the film was amazing or were amazing the film was we have only film it my uncle was a doctor or were a doctor my uncle he so he was i wasn't here last year i weren't i so we use wasn't he wasn't very well or he weren't he so wasn't you wasn't here on monday or you weren't you so it's weren't they wasn't they weren't of course they weren't okay so number three number three make questions mm. so uh, let's open here okay so we say make questions uh, with these words so we say two two uh, they at home yesterday were afternoon so we say where they at home yesterday afternoon Mm -hmm. okay and number two number three sorry and uh, the party was son your at so we say was your son at the party 
uh, was your son at the party? Four. At where 5 p.m. you were? So we start with question word where and where where to be where where you subject where were you at uh, 5 p.m. Okay, five, born, where were you? So, you say, where were you born? Six, they, when, born, where? Question word, when, where, because they, born. When were they born? Seven. And he was born London. So was he born in London? Was he born in London? Okay, and this is all the answer. Okay, number four. Choose the correct verb. So we say, have children, make a film, study English, uh, leave school, and become famous, uh, write a book. win a lot of money and move house okay write the bus symbol of the uh, of the uh, correct verbs in 4a okay so hmm. Okay, number two, uh, make a film, mate, three, study English, studied, four, and leave school, left, five, become became six uh, wrote right wrote seven uh, win one Eight, uh, move house, moved house. This is the past symbol of all the correct verbs. Okay, exercise number five. Okay, so read about uh, Beryl, Jason's grandmother, fill in the gaps one to eight with the past symbol of these verbs. Okay. And uh, exercise 5b, make questions for the words, phrases, ah in bold. So we will fill in the gaps. After that, we make questions about these uh, words okay so we will do two together okay uh, 
Okay, so you say I was born in 1954 and my family in Liverpool. So my family uh, say lived in Liverpool in 1973. I, uh, we have I, my husband Albert at a party. So say meet, met. I met. Then my husband Albert at the party, and we married. We take got on May. We our first child we had, and in 1977 met to Spain. So met we say went to Spain on holiday. Went go went go went to Spain on holiday in 1997 and his wife there meet because we have two so we say met his wife there they two moved okay they moved uh, to Bristol in 1999 and they have four children now okay now we will write questions about these signs for example here we say in 1954 so when was Beryl born in 1954 so the answer is these words where did her family live in Liverpool okay so be in Liverpool so now let's uh, make questions here so uh, C, let's say here, C, a party. C, a party. So the verb is Albert. I say, I met my husband Albert at a party. So we say, at a party. So where did she meet her husband? Where did she meet her husband? Where did she meet her husband at a party? Okay, and D, we say on May 1st, 1975, we got married. So we say, when did they get married? When did they get? When did they get married? On May, we had our first child, Matt, in 1977. So, E, when did they have their first child? When did they have their first child? Then we have mm, F. Matt went to Spain on holiday. Where did Matt where did Matt uh, go on holiday? Okay, we can add like, when did Matt go on holiday? In 1997. Okay, and G. And met his wife there. His wife, so who did he meet in Spain in 1997 because in 1997 holiday 1997 he met his wife there they moved to Bristol in 1999 so 1999 um, it's H 
he they moved to Bristol so where uh, sorry uh, the question is about 19 and so when when did they move to Bristol when did they move to Bristol in 1999 okay so these are the questions for the words in bold so this is the answer for B okay we move now to 5C okay 5C is matching so we say go to a party write an email clean the car go away for the weekend go away we say there that means you go out of the city okay and do uh, the washing have a great time stay with friends and go for a walk Okay, number seven, we will choose the correct word. Uh, I won 50,000 pounds yesterday. Wow. Tim and I went to Venice last week. Really? We don't say what a shame because we... What a shame, that means I am sad for you. But I am surprised. Really? I was ill last week and... Oh dear, I met the president of the USA last month. You're joking. I stayed uh, in all weekend. All right, something normal. I went clubbing last night. Oh, nice. Okay, so here we have the spelling okay write the missing letters in these adjectives okay mm, okay so okay so number two dirty Three cited and four poor, five uh, dangerous, six clean, seven empty eight uh, rich nine hold ten safe okay guys and this is the answer Number nine, choose the correct words. Sorry, I can't come today. I'm too busy. Let's go to the restaurant. It's really nice. We say really nice because more is okay. More is good. So we say really. Uh, he is an uh, important man. He is a very important man. Uh, Mike is always quite lucky Kim's husband is quite rich 
the film was I went to sleep after five hours so too long this book is interesting so say really as we said before uh, two we use it with negative adjectives okay okay guys and here you can just uh, take the things you can do in English in, in this unit we learned for example I can describe people and places you can do that tick yes I can talk about things that happened in my life you can do that tick yes I can ask questions about things other people did in the past I can say and understand years I can talk about what I did last weekend I can respond to people's news and ask follow-up questions you can do this okay any problem with uh, these things you go to the lesson and review again okay guys thank you goodbye